What's up everyone? It's Maida Samora here. Today's prompt is eye or ojo as I like to say. Um, ojo has been a big a part of my art career or art in general since I was a little girl. So I actually have some examples here again that I did um, in either, uh, either junior high or high school. I can't remember which. So I hope these serve as some sort of inspiration for you guys. But before we get started too, I just want you guys to check out all of my Ojo earring, uh, Ojo jewelry for you. I decided to get all decked out with eyes because I am not joking when I say I'm obsessed with Ojos. So I got my little hair clips right here, my earrings, my um, necklace, and of course my cool um my cool rings and i painted my nails for you guys too except yet again i forgot that i painted my nails so they're a little smudgy but whatever who cares so let's go ahead and get started as i mentioned today we um today's um, prompt is ojo this is actually one of my favorite pieces it, it incorporates the aztec sun as well and that also has been a big um part of my art art journey i, I guess and uh, this is something that I used to do um, a lot, actually. I actually have um, proof and some um, some drawings that, that I did probably in third or fourth grade. And I always try to do a realistic eye and then something inside of the pupil. So this is something uh, for my artists who are viewing this today. If they want to do something a little bit more realistic and with no color, this was just using a graphite pencil and I was focusing more on value and shading. And probably this was when I started learning hatching and cross hatching. And I wanted to do some, um, try to do some texture in there. Here's another cool piece that I did. Uh, my art teacher actually framed this one because it was in an art competition uh, for the Refugio County Fair. So it's pretty cool um, for all of my young ones who are watching this video, you know, keep your art, don't throw it away. It's really cool, to, like I always say, to look back at your work when you were young and to see how much you've progressed as an artist. But this is the, around the time I started learning about the third eye and the Egyptians. So I really was fast, and I am still am today, fascinated with uh, triangles, uh, number three, that's my destiny number. And like I said, I just love Ojo. And you know, it goes further deep. Um, I, it's probably the thing that I paint and draw the most in my entire career. It's something that I'm gonna keep doing until probably the day that I die. I'm known in town as Mita Mida. My uh, Instagram is at Mita Mida Art. My brand is at Mita Mida Art too. So everything, it always reverts back to, to the eye. And of course the symbolism of El Ojo. And I'm sure many of you can uh, attest to this and have your own stories of, um, your experience with an ojo and of course the way you cure an ojo is by rubbing um, an egg in your entire body and saying the rosary you know basically doing the rosary uh the prayer of the rosary memory rose mary i'm sorry guys i can't even think right now um but regardless um yeah I look further and it's always really cool to see the kids always either raise their hand like yeah i know what you're talking about my abuela does that or my mom does that to me and I'm 33 years old and I still, when I feel sick, I get the egg and I cure basically myself. And then once you're done rubbing it all over, you put it, you crack it in a clear glass and then you see if the egg yolk has a huge white dot on it. And if it does, that means someone gave you ojo and now that you transfer it to the egg, basically the bad juju is gone. And you know, there's different... Um, folklore different tells depending on what part of Mexico you're in or here in America if you're Chicano it's it's different uh, but it's really cool and below uh when you watch this video write about your own uh, experiences with El Ojo but today this is something that we are more going to be uh, focusing in on it's more of a mandala kind of style more zen tangles and yet again, when you get stuck, always go back and think of the three basic elements of art, line, shape, and color. I guarantee you when you're stuck and you think of those three, the magic three, start thinking about them as the magic three. Those are the basic ingredients that you need in order to start a composition, a work of art. And like I said, the only thing you really need to do for this project is to start with the center. Um, well, of course, if you want to put ojos all over the page, why not? Who cares? This is your project. It's about just getting loose and really starting to uh, make you think more about patterns and, and designs. Um, I just love it. This was when this one was done with a basic uh, permanent marker and Sharpie. But that's basically all I have today. Um, at the end of this video, you're going to see a time lapse uh, video of me doing 
today's project. So I hope you guys enjoy. And towards the end of the video, I will repost the pictures of these examples that I showed you today. Like I said, I cannot wait to see your projects. Please remember to um, at tag at Case Art Lab and also use the hashtag Summer Art Challenge. And remember to keep tuning in every um, every day at 4.30, for 4.30 p.m. Central Time, we have amazing instructors. Uh, I believe we have Nola Guajardo, I think Nora Verdeen too, Miss Sandra Gonzalez, Monica Marie Garcia, Lori Edwards, Amanda Shepard, Lori Baker, and of course myself. And if I forgot anybody, I do apologize. Um, this is something that we do free and anybody can participate, whether you're little or older, a senior, it does not matter. You don't have the materials just use a basic pencil or if you don't have paper use a notebook um you know just have fun especially right now we are having we are going through very difficult times and this i want you to think of this like i always say as your art therapy yet again please um dm us uh tag us so we can reshare everything and i look forward to seeing everybody's work and i will see you guys next thursday with the next prompt and I'm not going to lie, I cannot remember the top of my head what it is, but I will see you guys next Thursday. You'll have a great day and have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.